Uh, so, in a previous episode, we also uh, we 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 talked about uh, the interview uh, with Elliot. Uh, right. Elliot Rogers' father. Uh, right. Uh, it was a Barbara uh, Walters interview. Right. So Elliot Rogers was the um, uh, the very very tragic uh, story. Uh, you know the 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 college kid who shot up a bunch of other college kids. He's right. fucked up, and then um, he himself I think killed himself or suicide by cop or whatever it was. Right. Um, but then his dad, not wanting to miss an opportunity to get on camera... Who's like a film producer yeah, or something. Yeah, he did like a couple of... I think he was like first AD or one of the directors of a Hunger Games or something like that. Yeah. And um, kind of like a, a Kelsey Grammer looking guy mm-hmm. with like a curly... Mo- he looks like how he sounds, okay? Right, yeah. <laughs> and he uh, and he really he seizes this opportunity to get in front of the camera and really absolve himself right. of what his son did, which was horrible, <laughs> and it only makes it worse when you hear some of this shit. Yeah, but it, like, I don't think it's played that way. When they release it, like they don't they don't know. No. No, they don't see the the humor and the irony in it, but we do. We sure do. Here at Profiles and Eccentricity. Uh-huh. <laughs> Here we go. This is so they're talking. Barbara's talking. Here you go. You loved Elliot. I loved Elliot. Elliot loved you. I, I, yeah. I, <laughs> I, I guess you could say that. Um, they go on to talk about like you know the the relationship that they had and. You know, his father being the Mount Everest that Elliot could never summit. And well, I'm just so successful is the problem. It's he just, understands. It's, mm, I, I couldn't imagine what I'd look like to him. Uh, <sighs> here we go, here we go. You are a very good-looking man. <laughs> did he realize that? Did, did that please him? Was he... He was jealous of me, was... the way that I looked. <laughs> <laughs> Barbara's trying to line something up. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Your son's dead, but your little... Hmm? <laughs> Your ugly son's dead, but now that he's not. out of the way. <laughs> um, the fall. The next clip is is the one that I brought up on one of the previous episodes. That's really like smoking gun. Here's how you make a a school, Here's how you make a college shooter. Did you talk to Elliot about sex? Yeah. What did you say? How it's so important to present yourself as a human being from the heart outwards and not to be weird. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Uh huh. I just love. I love. How not to be weird. I love this. I love this right here. Did you talk to Elliot about sex? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You bet I did. Uh-huh. Look at me. I'm a good-looking guy. <laughs> He's jealous of me. <laughs> He's jealous of being the way that I look. Yeah. Okay. Just um, tell him Elliot constantly about him fucking. <laughs> uh, and then they, they get, then he, not, okay, so his son, w- weird, <laughs> doesn't love me back. Right. Jealous of me in the way that I look. Absolutely. L- why don't we pile more on? Right. Let's maybe throw on, I don't know, some race shit. Yeah. He would say they're never going to like me because I'm not six foot two, a jock, uh, sporty guy. He did say to me once, I wish I wasn't half Asian. I never realized that he was so racist. Jesus! <laughs> About himself. Yeah. Uh, I, my son is a murderer, but also racist. No, he was racist. <laughs> he was you, outraged. Could you he believe? grew up in my home. I lost a hair over it. I didn't recognize racism until I saw it in my son. Yeah, yeah. My, my, misogyn- my own flesh and blood. Misogynist then, murdering son. And then Barbara goes, come, counters with. Thinking, why aren't I white? Uh huh. I'm going to put words in the dead boy's mouth. Okay. <laughs> why aren't I white? Mm, oh, yeah, isn't it? it try Good so hard question, and Barbara. Fuck me enough. I would just be white. I wouldn't shoot up all these women. Tragic, really. No, why aren't we all white, right, Barbara? Um, I there is there is one more. Hell that yeah! It's just so dumb and sad, but I think it's funny. <laughs> Mr. Roger describes finding out that his weird, racist, jealous son <laughs> is dead. 
I'll remember this moment for the rest of my life. The, the way, you know, he just looked me in the eye and he said, we found a deceased person and we found a license in his pocket that fits your son's description. And I went, oh. oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like <laughs> the fact that he thinks he has to tell us that he'll remember it for the rest of his life I know I know I think, he, I think he's already <laughs> forgot about I'll it. never forget this in between all the women dating I was uh, told my son was dead and I was I'll really never forget it. I was like, oh. <laughs> but, I mean, as bad as that interview was, how lucky we were that it's Barbara Walters, not like Larry King. Yeah. It's like he's coming back for commercial. I'm here with Hot Dad. Yeah. <laughs> Murder, murderer. We're back. You're attractive. What did Elliot think of that? <laughs> how did that how Santa did that Barbara, go? you're on the air. Go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, we got you. Go ahead. Yeah, he is good looking. Thanks. Mm -hmm. We get covered that. Thank you for your call. And racist as well. Yeah. <laughs>